What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London, down at VVS like you have never seen it before. Just lost balance there. <laughs> Behind me, we have a sea of Lamborghinis and other manufacturers. We've got a couple of Ferraris down there as well, but we have a special car on display. You've already been able to tell what it is by the title, so there is no point in keeping it a secret. But, ladies and gentlemen, today, in the handover bay is a UK supplied Lamborghini Murcielago LP670-4 SV in Arancio Borelius. I believe one of five orange cars that was delivered to the UK as an event it all starts up over there. But the reason that I'm down here and I'm very excited with a massive smile on my face is because I have got the keys to this car that was recently sold by VVS to a customer that has an amazing car collection and myself and Richard are gonna jump in this beautiful car and take it for a drive. I'm gonna get my first experience behind the wheel of the ultimate Lamborghini. It's not just the ultimate Murcielago, to me, this is the last and the pinnacle of Lamborghini really before Audi started meddling in with their designs. Not that it's a bad thing that the Hurricane and the Aventador have a little bit of the Audi in them, but this is ultimate Lamborghini through and through. So let's get the GoPros up, get everything rolling and go out for a ride in the wet with a Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Richard, welcome to the channel. Thank you. <laughs> and what, a, what a ridiculous way to be welcomed to the channel by handing me the keys to your new Murcielago SV. I know, first time in the passenger seats. It feels a little bit strange, to tell the truth. <laughs> I haven't passengered in my car. I think I've been right. a little bit scared too. But this is such a beautiful car. I've already said it's the ultimate Lambo. And over the next 10 minutes or so, it's a little bit wet outside, so I'm not going to push it. We're not going to have a demonstration of how to drive a Murcielago at 10 temps. But what we are going to do is talk a little bit about your car history. What made you purchase this car as we get a bit of a hill climb to kick things off? I've stopped a little bit early. And we'll just let things... Uh... First impressions yeah. for me, though, a hell of a lot more Alcantara. We've got new dials compared yeah. to uh, my LP640. And... Uh, the steering feels. What is it? Smaller steering wheel as well? Small steering wheel, yeah. I think the big thing for me with this car is the feeling through the back of the seats, which yeah. you probably get in yours, and then through the steering wheel, and then it goes through your body. Oh, so you okay. Feel that. <laughs> so the I, first... I don't know whether you've been watching my videos, but oh, that's literally what I say. <laughs> so the first three drives I had, it gave me butterflies. Yeah. And I've never had that in a car. So it's really strange, and um, even driving here today, it's such a buzz. You're like, whoa! And, and you know, I've had you know a lot of cars, but my thing is, the cars for me were always to drive. Yeah. And you know, I just love cars. Like when you know, my history is Subarus. You know, the 2000s. They were like, oh, that's the best thing. Still, great driver's car. Yeah. E46 e M3 manual. Okay, so you're going to yeah. appeal to a lot of people that love these. I would say they've got like a cult following. Yeah. Because a lot of people get caught up in modern cars with the latest yeah. and the greatest, on paper the fastest accelerating, yeah. but I find that you lose a little bit of emotion when you start letting computers take control. And this, as you literally just described, you feel the revolutions of the engine through the steering wheel, the pedals and the, and the seat which are the driver's connective points to the actual car. So you feel alive when you're driving this car. And there's nothing like this? No. I and mean, it doesn't, I mean, we've got, I've driven 675, I've got 675, Scuderia, 355, so you know, GT3 some, RS. You've got some uh, ridiculously cool them. cars, and you're selling them? Because of this. Because they, you can't compare, because the emotion comes right through your body with the engine, yeah. and also the looks. So you, yeah. you so before the Murcielago, you had especially arguably Scuderia. so you had the the ultimate drivers' cars. You had a track focus Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren, and I drove um, three of them on a weekend. So especially GT3 RS six seven five LT. Yeah, straight away I sold the Speciali. Really? Because it wasn't as uh, the McLaren was better than the Porsche, 
but then I've got this, and then I'm just not driving the others. Really? So VVS are, are selling them for me. So. Okay, so some of the cars that I would have filmed in the last couple of weeks, months, are, are probably yours. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we've got a really good relationship at, at VVS. They, you know, when I first went there, this car was there. Okay. So it was the first time I walked in, and I said, God, you know, I've never seen a car like that. Yeah. As in, I'd seen the Top Gear video in Dubai, but I'd never seen one. And then, obviously, a year later, you know, I get in this car, and, and I'd never driven it. I just yeah. bought it and thought, no, I'll take it out. And Dan said to me, Richard, you're going to like it. And I said, I'm not sure. And, I, and then I just thought, oh, well, <laughs> what a car. You know, well, so. as a comparison to my LP640, being the last Mercy Lago that I drove, firstly, orange is such a cool colour. Just there are little bits around the car that I'm looking at when I'm driving that I can see. I'm like, oh my god! Like there are so many little bits that I think make the Murcielago so perfect in orange. And I never thought that it should be in a bright colour. I always was being like, oh, I'd love the grey. I'd want. Yeah. I mean, I'm painting my car black, yeah. but that's because of its original specification. But orange is so cool. The steering has been massively recalibrated. The steering is different, it feels lighter, okay. it feels like it's sharper as well. The whole car feels lighter, which right, it obviously okay, yeah. is. Uh, but just as an experience to cruise fairly slowly because we've got wet tarmac on the ground and this is not my car, um, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And you can enjoy it, you know, at the speed limit. Yeah. I can just drive along. 3,000 revs changing and really just enjoy the experience and the, the looks and the people the impression you get from people is great it's not like they yeah. go oh wow you know and they smile and it makes you smile and then you think oh yeah I know. was <laughs> smiling driving over to VVS knowing that I'm gonna be going in one of these cars but knowing what the feeling is like when you pass a car as crazy as this on the road so all I'm imagining is being in the next car that comes past oh, yes. like this little Renault Megane here and coming around the corner and seeing a bright orange Murcielago SV in November in the wet that is like the coolest experience from a third person's perspective as you can get so I mean I, I bought an E46 M3 from DBS with a manual and it's still the best driving car with a manual gearbox and I can go out and I can have as much fun with that as anyone in a McLaren yeah. or a Porsche or whatever. Yeah. Because you will never be reaching. Because you're engaged any, yeah. and you're flat out all of the time. Yeah. And you're using all of the power, which I think to an extent you can get out of the Mercialago as well with the long gearing. Yeah, you can. You can use yeah. the first two gears and enjoy yeah. them. Yeah. And actually stick it fairly sensibly to the speed limit. And you can feel it in your back now. Yeah. You know, you feel that vibration yeah. from the engine coming through. It's but I think values wise, I think that um, you know, Mercy Largo is now a very good place to be um, because of the limited number, the look. You never get a better looking cars sometimes. They're not going to look much better. No. They might look more futuristic. But yeah. I, you know, the 720S had one at VBS. You look at it, it just looks a bit busy. It doesn't look, these lines are so clean. This is definitely future modern classic if not already a modern classic because the prices of these most Largo SVs have gone crazy and are continuing to go crazy and I think like you said it is such a good car to be in yeah. I can't afford an SV which is why LP640 is my dream car and it's the next yeah. best thing but you were telling me that there are how many of these in, that were UK well, there was, supplied? The UK was six and we think there's only three left so there's so three one over orange yeah so and when I knew that, I thought, crikey, I've got to have this car, how can I get it? You know, how can yeah. I, I just want, want this one, I want orange, we're a three and a half thousand mile car. It's, it is um, as, as close to perfect yeah. as it can get, really. And I watched every YouTube video on them. Yeah. And then I bought it without driving it. <laughs> because I saw Chris Harris loved it, yeah. Jason Plato, I've watched it 50 times. Um, and he's going, this car's amazing, I thought, and then I thought, SVJ, do I go? And I thought, well, they're coming down. Yeah. I thought, no, no. I, they're making no, a silly no, number of SVJs. Uh, yeah, there's too many. Again. Yeah. So and then when people see this, the, I mean, I said to my dad, he said, well, you've got to sort of put an orange Lamborghini. He went, oh, no, an orange Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, come and see it. And he sort of went, I've never seen an orange like that. This yeah. is amazing, this car. And wow. So, I, I, I'm glad that you dropped that bombshell that this is one of three UK supplied SVs in the country and we're driving one 
on these roads in this condition. This is the road that I was terrified of on my first ride in my old Because you get that, the dip. Yeah, yeah because yeah, you have no idea yeah. how wide this car is. I'm obviously yeah. now, like, I'm a little bit more used to driving it, but... But I measured the SVJ when I was at VBS, and it was about a foot longer and about a foot wider, and I thought, crikey, this feels... I don't know if I'd want to drive that on the road. Yeah, but, but I think then when you, actually, when you actually get in an SVJ, because of the four-wheel steering, the light electronic it steering, it makes it really manageable. But it's still a big car, isn't it? It is a big, it is a big, a big car, yeah. But this is, this is on a next level of cool. Looking in the wing mirrors, and you can see the rear shoulders with the spoiler just poking out. And the design of the wing mirrors. Oh, it's yeah. Just, it's, everything about this is why I love Lamborghini. That's the best way that I can yeah. summarise what this car does to me. I had an Aventador before this. Did you? Um, so, and I didn't really like the gear change, and I, because the scooter here yeah. sort of actually perfected it, and then yeah. going to this, I thought, oh no, I'm not gonna like it. But it's better than the Aventador. This is a mechanical shift. The Aventador is like automatic. Yeah. It's just too automated. It, yeah. they've tried it feels to make, lurchy. They've tried to make it a little bit smooth, and a little bit computerized and it just takes away that mechanical feel from it and when I drove my Mercedes Argo a lot during the summer and came down to VBS to drive a Gen 1 Aventador I was really disappointed because the steering is automated the gearbox is lurchy and automated yeah. and when you learn to drive this car and when you master it it's like mastering playing a musical yeah. instrument well also you're, you're always you're, learning exactly That's the thing. even today driving down I'm yeah. learning and I love third to fourth gear when you get the lift on the throttle, which I've only had in a 675. Yeah. So it feels like a race car. Yeah. You get that boom boom. Yeah. And it makes you go on. And you think, oh, <laughs> wow. <you know." laughs> this is such a cool experience. The weather hasn't been too kind on us, but I actually don't care because to be behind the wheel of this, like the ultimate Lamborghini for sure, with the Alcantara, Richard, thank you so much for letting me just drive it. But also to get your story as to why you bought this. Congratulations, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the many miles that you do on it. And uh, you can just play it with the sound <laughs> and the steering and the feel and the, yeah. feel that front end. Just, I feel like I'm on the front end, like a go-kart. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. Perfect car for you. Is this, the, is this your perfect car? I think um, it'll go down as one of the greatest cars. Um, I think that the look of it is fantastic it's got the engine was the last like you said that v12 the story the i still actually like the mercia largo look though yeah you know, without the spoiler yeah it's yeah. pretty stunning but i think <laughs> yeah. i'm struggling to where you go from here yeah um, and it wouldn't matter what you spend that's the problem that's that the, i have with mine you could spend you could say i'll go and spend five million pound i'm still not sure you'll get a better car yeah whatever the, this or is just mega have better emotions when you oh. drive it now when i come down i've never been so happy you know you come <laughs> down you just go oh wow you know? <laughs> Well, there you go. And that's what cars are for. That's what cars you know, are you for. Work you work hard, know, you want to have fun, exactly. you want to enjoy it. You that's know. what V12 Lambos are for. But as we arrive back at VVS, there we go, guys. An insight into the world of a Mercedes Lago SV owner and also what it's like to be behind the wheel of one in the pouring rain in November. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, Thanks, Paul. thank you very thank much. You. See you soon, guys. You. Please give, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out. Goodbye.